People kept telling me the most common word I've heard throughout the shooting of this movie from the time it was conceived till, till even now when we talk about marketing. The one word that kept coming back to me saying it's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. So even while writing the script, I realized that this is a story that the whole of India needs to hear, in fact, the whole of the world. And so I made a very difficult decision of having to shoot this film in English, in Hindi, as well as in Tamil. So we shot three different negatives with different artists so that the relatability factor is maintained. I have never directed a iPhone film in my life, leave alone a short film. I've never called the shots on any film. I've never actually been inside an editing room or a music session or had a talk with graphic designers. When directing this film was thrust upon me 25 days before the shoot was to begin. And that was a pivotal moment. I was not prepared to, you know, to direct this film after having written it, written the screenplay, the dialogues, producing it, uh, you know, setting it up, everything. And then now on top of that directing, it was just looked like a, the, an impossibility again. And then I was saying the word impossible to myself and I was like, oh, so there must be a way, way to it. Because the direction was thrust upon me, I decided to take it one day at a time. You don't feel that it is his first film at all. I mean, he knows exactly what is to be shot. He knows exactly what should be on mid shot, long shot, close up. He knows everything. So, uh, I mean, it was amazing to work under him and the kind of passion and the kind of uh, zeal that he brought onto the set itself was so inspiring that it, it got absorbed into everybody and everybody was as charged as him during the shoot. I mean, there was not a single time when anybody was laxed or, you know, they were uh, off their place. Everybody knew what was going to happen. He had planned it such so well. And uh, hats off to him. I mean, it's an incredible thing that it's like he's a magician, <laughs> I can say that. When everybody thought that he's going to probably team up with an Indian music director, he just went one step ahead and actually went to Nashville, met some of the famous country musicians, stuck a deal and just came back. And then the entire music composition for the songs happened virtually during the pandemic. You know what happens when you are directing for the first time or for the second time for that matter, there is a certain limitation that one has. With us, that was not the case because there was this gentleman who has been so involved with his own story, with the mission that he had taken on, that uh, he gave us immense clarity. That basically helped us and made the film what it is right now. The one thing which I really like about him, he always says uh, when everything is set up, the lighting is set up, the camera is set up and the art is set up, he just says that one line, moment for the artist. Roll camera, clap, moment for the artist and action. That one line really makes a difference for all the artists. We used to message him like, you know, we have something for review. He said, yes, I'll be there and believe me, he used to come at 8 o'clock in the morning to see what we have done. Never hesitated. He came to us whenever we called him, he wanted to show something always exciting. I have worked with so many directors and the way he appreciated what we have done and gave us right feedback, he knew what he was doing. We put a process in which um, every time the shot was called and it was scanned and cut was called, there was a panel that was sitting there that would first approve it even before I saw the shot. Once they said okay, and then I would see the shot. And once I was seeing the shot, I knew that it had been approved by the DOP. I knew that it had been approved by the art department. I knew it had been approved by the sound department. I knew it had been approved by the language department. So I was only trying to see if I was getting the feel. It's been so much fun being in a scene with him. He's both giving directions, but he's also my scene partner. You know, I have all my scenes with him and we're acting together. So I'm looking at him as an actor, but also looking for direction from him. I don't know how anybody manages to act and direct at the same time, but it's been a very pleasant, very gentle and happy experience. It's been good. I really thoroughly enjoyed myself. It's fascinating and unbelievable and exciting, thrilling and shocking all at the same time. And so I just thought it was great to be involved in something like that. One of the processes that I put into place for this film was what I would call mandatory 
briefing every day at 6.30 where everybody, every individual except the security guy who's keeping an eye out for people, everybody, the, the guy who ironed, the lady who washed the dish, the, uh, the guy who's hammering the nails, anybody or everybody who was involved with that day shoot was gathered around uh, at 6.30 in the morning and my main associate director, uh, Soheb Khan, would, uh, would brief them exactly on what the mood of the scene was, what all we are shooting today, when we need to keep silence, so much so that the volume of the radio, the walkie-talkie that they were talking, that would be set as well. We would start shooting at 6.30 every morning and uh, never have we actually gone up to the full extent of the shoot. So we would actually end up packing up at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock most days, wondering why did we finish so fast and is there anything that we missed out? Many a times the question would be like, did we miss out anything? And it'd be run overs and realize, no, it's, it's done. And so we'd go back and, and relax. I was fortunate enough to see the clips of the movie uh, that Maddie was kind enough to show me, and um, they really are some wonderful filmmaking, and the acting is superb, especially from Maddie. I mean, he's uh, pulled off something. It was extraordinary to watch him be an actor and do really good takes, really good scenes, and then all of a sudden it would be cut, and he would be off into the next scene. So you'd combine the acting and directing in a way that I just think, you know, it's just amazing. I don't know how he did it. Because it has never been done before, because you're breaking the norms of how cinema is shot or how it's conceived or how it's uh, presented uh, and because you're breaking uh, all the set rules about uh, uh, filmmaking, people are telling it's impossible, people are claiming it's impossible. But once you peel off layer by layer, you really realize there's nothing there, it's just, it's just proper prep.